this is a demonstration and kind of like an overall review of my Epiphone Les Paul Standards 50. I'm not sure if we can. You can see that flame trying to can't see it very well in the video. Oh, there we go. You can see the flame now. This is a quite an active top. It's called Translucent ch Cherry. Got it from Adam Um When you look it up, it shows up as a Chicago Music Exchange exclusive. So, I don't know what's up with that. And yes, these are my headphones. They call me Headphone Boy or Mickey Mouse. Because I always have my headphones on me. Um, I'm in the neck position. I'm running through a 79 Mesa Boogie Mark IIA. I will be using some pedals for this demonstration. There is the Space Spiral by Earthcraker devices that is a delay pedal and an overdrive which is essentially supposed to be a clone copy and it's an ultra harmonic soul food and I, I used the soul food with a couple of my other guitars and it wasn't really doing for me but I guess it just the last Paul, it just seems to be a be better fit for it. Um, ruin the rhythm channel, the clean channel on the Mesa, and the EQ is on. I'm in the neck pickup.
some sound of that. Riff raff dirt dirt. Riff raff de dirty dirt. It's all food. the guitar is, well, he's based off of a 50s style Les Paul. Notice I didn't say it was a reissue, because it's not, it's not a reissue. They have the, the 59th round boat neck type profile. I can't exactly remember what Epiphone calls them. But I actually kind of like it. There's a decent amount of wood on it. But it's not too much. It's just not as thick as I thought it would be. It's really kind of comparable to my Guild Starfire. So it's really not that thick of a big of a neck. But it's, it is, it's nice. There's like, it actually feels quite comfortable. Um, your, your fretboard is made out of Palo Ferro. Fun fact, my, I have a Walmart Telecaster and its pickguard is made out of Palo Ferro. It's, it, Palo Ferro is a nice wood. It's, this has the Pro Buckers 2 and 3, I believe it is, for the pickups. 
and it has all CTS pots and they're wired up in a 50s wire wiring it has a mahogany body the mahogany neck topped off with a maple cap and a oh there you go there you can see it and a beautiful laminated um, book matched triple-a maple top I know it's just a veneer but look at that you just see it just yeah I got I got lucky with this one so I was checking my action just kind of stays this is a point 46 millimeter pick and it doesn't move it's I like it now for machine machine heads tuners it's your classic Colston style and your basic tunomatic and start stop bar bridge I not a huge fan of the amber knobs I found the pickups quite bright, so, which is weird. So I have them dialed down to the tone at five. I'd like to eventually do amber top hats with the chrome tops, let's say tone and volume, and get these changed to Seth Lovers. And I think the guitar would really scream, but overall i'm quite happy with this this guitar i i would indeed recommend if you want to buy a les paul you don't want to just uh put out the money for a gibson i'd have no problem suggesting this despite it being made in china actually um i feel kind of cool because I could have got one of these a long time ago, but I always had the opinion, oh, it's China, it's made in China, it's, it must be garbage. But I gotta, I'll be right back. This changed my mindset on foreign made guitars, at least. Chinese and Indonesian because the Squire is an incredible guitar for the money. So, yeah. Don't be afraid to buy an import guitar because they've come a long ways. I guess that's that's it guess it's not always the name of the headstock try them try them all out every single one of them is different if you have the cash if you find one that you absolutely love at the store you like the feeling the way the way the neck plays the way it sounds grab it don't let it sit i was fortunate this was still there when i came back for it could have been very different